everyone. Hi, judges. It's Emma Frost, a.k.a. Ariola. Um, so I chose to do Emma Frost because I really wanted to do a character from X-Men um, because I think there's a lot of parallels between like the world of X-Men and how the X-Men are treated within their world to kind of queerness and um, how gay people and trans people and queer people in general are really treated in our world. And it's really... Um, they're just people that just want to live their lives and just kind of go through their day-to-day -day stuff, but they keep being ostracized and they're kind of like these social pariahs because people just can't accept differences. And I think that's kind of like a key theme throughout all of the X-Men series and movies and things like that. Um, and the reason I chose to do Emma Frost was because she's just kind of embodies like what a powerful woman is just like supposed to be, you know, she doesn't give a fuck. Um, you know, she's like the leader of the Hellfire Club. She's just like, she is this beautiful, gorgeous woman, but she was still bullied when she was a child because she was different and she had these different superpowers. And I think it's good that, you know, we have these characters to kind of look up to, to kind of identify with, um, just to kind of help get through being gay. You know, our society kind of sucks and... Even though, you know, we just legalized um, gay marriage nationwide, it's still such a sensitive and hot issue for a lot of people. Um, so I think just any kind of person that can even help some kind of queer person relate is a really, really good influence. Um, and I also kind of always viewed Emma Frost as more of an anti-hero than a villain or a hero, um, which she's been kind of portrayed as both. Um, but I don't know, anti-heroes are just kind of more identifiable, they're more human, they can make mistakes, and you know, not everyone's perfect, and so anti-heroes are kind of the embodiment of what it's like to be more human. They have more human emotions, and they have, to me, at least more human storylines, usually. Um, so for this look, I actually made this cape, um, double-sided fur, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I lined the f um, cape with fur. Um, I just wanted to kind of take, do my own little take, and it's my first time I ever sewed anything, um, so I'm kind of proud of myself for that. Thank you. I also stoned my face um, because she turns to diamond, and um, my character, my Emma Frost, she got a little bit lazy an eighth of the way through transforming to diamond, but she just went with it, and she's like, oh, that looks cute, so I'm just going to stop right there and just have it be part of my face. Um, so anyway... Thank you guys so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and get my cosplay. Um, and see you next week. Bye. Yeah.